Parents across the country are once again having to decide what and what not to tell their kids about the latest shooting tragedy. Angelica Sanchez with more on that. And Angie, I imagine a lot of those conversations first started with a long, tight hug. Absolutely, Ted. And parents that I spoke with describe really a mix of emotions from fear, anxiety, concern, and simply heartbreak for all those families dealing with tremendous loss today. You hug them a little tighter, show a little more love. The morning school routine takes on a new meaning in the aftermath of the Uvalde, Texas school shooting. You see this, the kids? I'm scared about him. Police say an 18-year-old gunman shot and killed 19 elementary school children and two teachers. The motive behind the shooting remains a mystery. It's very disheartening. Here at home. And I think Oak Creek does a really good job with maintaining security and keeping the school system really safe and everything. You know, but you never know. Parents picking up students at Oak Creek Cedar Hills Elementary School tell us the questions their children are asking them. Why do bad people do this? You know, why do they come into schools? Others. I feel very, very bad. I'm, I'm so mad. Can't stop thinking about the families who lost a child. I feel bad for the mom because how is she feeling? We asked parents what their solution is in light of another mass shooting. Oh, God, I wish I knew. Don't know. Stricter gun laws, I really do. I agree with people's right to own firearms, I do, but something has to change. Something definitely has to change. And today, many school districts across the country sent letters home to parents, including the Oak Creek Franklin Joint School District. In their letter to parents, they're letting them know that there are counseling services available and anything else students may need to get through this. Reporting live in Oak Creek tonight, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. And they will have questions for sure. Angie, thank you.